Hey guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you my third look using the newest Jaclyn Hill and Morphe Volume No. 2 palette. If you haven't seen my previous two videos, I will make sure to link them down in the description bar. But before I go in with any eyeshadow, I first always prime my eyelids. As you can see, my eyelids are a little bit pink because in my previous video, I used a lot of pink colors and pink eyeshadow tends to stain the eyelids. So that's what happened, so ignore that, but I just used the primer on top of that. And then now I'm going in with this beautiful palette. Um, I've now made three videos so far and I'm really loving it. Um, I think it's one of my favorite palettes ever. I just really love the colors and it's just really easy to use. So now I'm taking this light color and I'm going to use this as a brow highlight. I love a matte brow highlight, so I'm really happy that this palette has a light matte shade. Then I'm next, I'm going to take this yellow color and actually a lot of people um, requested a look where I use this yellow eyeshadow. And I wasn't really sure like what to do with it because I feel like yellow is quite of a hard look to play with. Like, I think when you use yellow like really quickly, it's going to look like a eyeshadow look, which probably not a lot of people want to wear. So for this look, I just wanted to use as much of the neon kind of shades as possible and just create a really colorful eye look. Then now next I'm going in with this orangey color, which I also used in my previous color. Such a beautiful shade and I'm going to use it right next to where I applied the yellow color. And I'm just kind of making tap motions on the eyelid to really pack on the eyeshadow and also slightly applying it a little bit on top of the yellow eyeshadow. This way the yellow and the orange are kind of going to blend into each other, which is going to give you a really nice transition from yellow to orange. So I also blend it in the crease because I also want like the shades in the crease to kind of just look really nicely blended. So on the eyelid I pack it and in the crease I blend it like from left to right. Now, now for the next color, I'm going to take this vibrant pink color, super beautiful, and I'm going to do the same thing uh, as I did with the orange color, just packing it on the eyelid and then also sweeping it in the crease back and forth. And also slightly on top of the orange eyeshadow, um, applying it. I feel like I'm having a stuffy nose again and I felt like my voice was going a little bit better but it's starting to sound really weird again. So hopefully I'm not going to be sick again. Um, bear with me. <laughs> but yeah, um, so I'm just keep doing this and until I find that there's like enough of the pink shadow on the eyelids. And then for the next color, I'm going in with more of a purple color. I just want to create like a gradient from yellow to orange to pink and then transform it into purple and I just really love the effect that it gives it kind of looks like a sunset but a little bit different so now I'm taking this purple color which is such a beautiful shade and I'm gonna start blending it in the outer V area and then blending it more upwards towards the crease of my outer V area if that is even a word I don't know how to explain that but with the other shades I first packed it on but with this one I wanted to start blending it first because I wanted the outer end of my eyelid to kind of look smoked out. So that's why I'm blending as well. Now I'm also applying it kind of on top of the pink. So I feel like you cannot really see like that pink eyeshadow anymore, but still it's definitely gonna help like with the transition from yellow to orange to purple. <laughs> Then now for the next step, I'm gonna take the Maybelline Studio Gel Eyeliner, which is my favorite drugstore gel eyeliner, and I'm gonna use this to create a line above the lash line. I'm not going for a wing liner today, but I am gonna kind of smudge out the outer end of the eyeliner, which is gonna give a really nice smudgy effect. Um, so it's gonna be a little bit different than like doing only a simple line above the lash line but also i'm not gonna do a wink line i think definitely when you have hooded eyes try out this technique and maybe it will work for you because you don't really have to be like really precise with it so definitely give it a go you don't have to do like a super dramatic look like i did with all the colors you can also use brown shades in the crease and then try this eyeliner technique that i'm doing the first thing I just did was creating a simple line above the lash line and then at the outer end where I'm applying the eyeliner right now, I'm gonna apply it up a bit higher 
And then after doing that, I'm gonna take a tiny smudge brush and just smudge at the outer end to make it look really smoky. And then when I'm done with smudging out the eyeliner, I'm going to take a little bit of the black eyeshadow and use a tiny blending brush and blend this on top of where I apply the gel eyeliner. This is going to make the transition around the gel eyeliner a little bit more smooth because gel eyeliner obviously is quite of a thick consistency and it can look a little bit harsh. So with the black eyeshadow, I'm going to fade it more into looking a little bit more softer. So I wasn't super happy with how it was looking so far, so I decided to go in with the dark purple color from the palette and apply it a little bit on top of that and a little bit above it to kind of make it blend into the purple shade we used earlier in the outer V area. Um, just to make it a little bit more smudged out because black eyeshadow just is kind of hard to work with sometimes because it's so black. So I wanted to make the transition a little bit more smoother to use that purple. So since the outer end is looking kind of messy, like straight underneath that smudge wing liner, I'm going in with a little bit of concealer and a E25 brush from Sigma Beauty. And I'm just gonna sweep my brush back and forth underneath the outer end of that black situation. And this is gonna make it look so much more clean and just really neat. And even though it's still kind of smoked out, I don't want it to be too sharp. So that's why I didn't go in with any sticky tape or anything but I do want it to look more clean. So that's why I'm using the concealer. So now for the next step, I'm gonna take this pencil from Inglot, which is the black cool pencil in the shade number 01. And I'm gonna use this all the way in the waterline to make it really black and smoky. I also mentioned in one of my previous videos that there's a really nice dupe, which is a bit more affordable. It's by Barry M Cosmetics and it kind of looks the same. It's just a simple black, eye pencil. If you're searching for a nice affordable pencil, I would definitely recommend the one from Barry M Cosmetics. Then I'm taking the black eyeshadow again from the palette with a super tiny brush from Suifa Cosmetics and I'm gonna press the black eyeshadow right underneath where I just applied the pencil in the waterline. Also slightly on top of the waterline because applying a matte black shadow on top of the waterline is kind of gonna make the pencil in the waterline lasts more longer. This way, because it's a cream product, um, you're kind of locking it in place. Then now I'm going back in with the yellow eyeshadow and using a tiny pencil brush. And I'm just gonna sweep my brush back and forth and just blend it underneath the lower lash line. Now, because I used the same color also at the beginning part of the eyelid, um, I really like how it looks because you kind of get the same effect underneath the lower lash line, just like I have on the eyelid. Then now I haven't used the red eyeshadow yet for this look, so I decided to go in with the red eyeshadow. Just include it as well because I wanted to use all the vibrant colors that really stand out in this palette. And the red eyeshadow was the only color I haven't used yet. So I'm taking a tiny pencil brush again and I'm just blending it underneath the lower lash line. Also kind of blending it on top of the yellow to make the yellow and the red blend into each other. Now you all know I think like yellow and red makes orange so the transition is gonna look a little bit more orange because those shades blend together. And I actually think the red eyeshadow is really beautiful. Let me know if you're gonna get the palette. I know it launched today so let me know if you got your hands on it. If you're gonna try any of my eye looks I'm really curious to know. So now I'm going back in with the white shade which we used earlier for underneath the brow bone and I'm gonna pop a little bit of that in the inner corner area just to make the transition from the eyelid and the lower lash line 
look a little bit more smooth and blended into each other and I just really like the pop of kind of brightness in the inner corner then now for my mascara I'm gonna take this mascara from Maybelline which is the Great Lash Mascara um, it has become one of my favorite drugstore mascaras I really like to use it so I'm applying it on the upper lashes and of course also on the lower lashes and in this video like always i'm gonna use some fake lashes i use lashes from my own lash company and these are in the style wary i have a special discount code for my lashes uh, in the description bar so if you want to try out any of my lashes i got you and then this is the end of the video i really hope you all like this makeup look give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy that's really helpful for my youtube channel i really appreciate that and also let me know if you got your hands on the palette or if you are gonna get it in the future. I'm really curious to know and any requests for my next upcoming videos are welcome. So let me know in the comments and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.